Hey guys, it's Beth from Wilton. We get tons of requests to show you how to pipe buttercream flowers. So here's the deal. We're gonna do a new series where every month we show you a brand new buttercream flower. That way you'll be able to build up your arsenal of how many flowers you can pipe out of buttercream. And I'm gonna to start today by showing you the chrysanthemum. If you didn't know, mum is chrysanthemum for short and it's a lot easier to say mum, so that's what I'm gonna say from now on. What we're gonna do to start is color some of our icing and I'm gonna use the Autumn palette from Colorite. And I'm gonna do a really pretty golden yellow color. So I'm going to use yellow and orange and I need three drops of orange and I need eight drops of yellow. So adding that orange to my yellow is really going to give it that golden tint. Perfect, now we just stir it all together. I'm using a stiff consistency buttercream here, which is going to be really important to your piping success so that your mum petals will actually stand up and curl outwards at the very end. Make sure you use stiff consistency. Once your color is completely incorporated, we can put it into a decorating bag. And I'm going to use a coupler for this because we're going to use two different tips to pipe our mum. We're going to use a number five round, and I'm going to use a tip 81, which actually looks like a little smile. It's got a curve. So I'm gonna use a coupler so that I only have to make one decorating bag. So go ahead and fit your bag with your coupler. And the tip five goes on to the bag first. When you fill your decorating bag, only fill it between a quarter and a half full. No more than that, because you don't want your stiff consistency icing to get too warm as you're piping, or it'll get too soft. So don't overfill your bags. When you have your bag fitted with your tip five, you're ready to pipe. We're going to use a flower nail to make our chrysanthemums. This is known as off-cake decorating. Basically, we are going to create all of our decorations off of our cake and then put them onto the cake so that we're not trying to pipe something directly onto the cake. It would be really, really hard to pipe a mum onto a cake. With this, you get a nice little surface that you can manipulate and turn to make a really pretty mum. Lots of flowers use the flower nail. So what we need to do first is give a little tiny dot of icing here. And that's going to give our parchment square something to stick to so it doesn't move around on us. And you can either buy these parchment squares pre-cut or cut them yourself, makes no difference. Now we're going to hold our bag at a 90 degree angle to the surface about a quarter inch above it and we're going to squeeze out a mound of icing about 5 eighths of an inch in, in diameter. And then just circle to shave off any point you want it to be nice and round and flat like that. Now the size of this mound that you pipe is going to determine the size of your mum overall. If your base is bigger than this, your whole mum will be bigger. If it's smaller, you'll get a little tinier little mum. So that's all we need the tip five for. We're gonna change out to our tip 81, the smile tip. And then with the smile facing, the point of the smile facing down, so like a smile, you're going to hold the bag at a 45 degree angle and actually shove it just slightly into the mound we just piped. Rotate the nail after your first petal. And then apply pressure, pull the bag outwards. And as you come up and start to release the pressure, bring the bag up just slightly. That's what's gonna help cup your petal upwards. And you just rotate it slightly and continue to do the petals all the way around at the base of the mound that we piped. You wanna make sure to keep them about the same length, so pressure control is important. And again, bringing the bag up and slightly away as you release the pressure. So at this point, it kind of looks like a little sun. Now we're going to repeat with our second row above our petals and we want them to nest inside each other. So we're gonna pipe kind of in between where our first row is. And we're going to hold the bag ever so slightly higher so that the petals come a little bit further up and you want them to be just a little bit shorter than the first row. So here we go. Same motion, just a little bit higher and a little bit shorter all the way around the base. And that smile shape really gives you a nice cup to the petal without much work at all. And just keep going all the way up the mum doing more rows of petals that are slightly higher and slightly shorter until it's completely filled in. So you can see once you get to the top center, you're kind of holding the bag pretty much upright at that point at 90 degrees. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to pipe a chrysanthemum. Now when you're making flowers out of buttercream, you go ahead and freeze it 
on your parchment square, and that's why we built it onto parchment so that we could lift it right off our flour nail so that we can put it into the freezer to get hard. Once it's hardened, we can peel it right off that paper and put it onto our cake or cupcake or anything like that. It's gonna take between five and 15 minutes depending on the size of your flowers, so you will know that they're ready when you touch them and they are completely firm. Mums grow in lots of different colors, so I'm going to make some red ones also. This is the red color from the Autumn palette from the Color Right formulas as well. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I did with my golden yellow. So when you pipe flowers out of buttercream, you're going to chill them to get them off of the parchment squares so that you can easily put them onto your cake, cupcake, cookie, or whatever you're decorating. The chill time is going to vary depending on how big your flower is, so plan for at least five minutes, all the way up to 15 or 20, depending on how big they are. If they're really big, it's gonna take longer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these in the freezer. Now that our flowers have chilled, we can take them off of the paper to really easily transfer them to our cupcakes. You can do these on cupcakes or cookies, cakes, obviously, really anything that you want. And you can see how easily they come off of the parchment when they're cold. You can really handle them super easily and you can either put one right in the center or you can do a pretty cluster. That's kind of why I like doing different colors. You can really have a, a lot of fun with these flowers. Make them in different sizes. Okay. That looks pretty. And as long as they're cold, you can, you can handle them very, very easily. So there you have it, the lovely piped mum. Leave me a comment below and let me know which flowers you want to learn to pipe because we will do a new one every single month. But if you really can't wait and you just want a whole bunch of flowers right now all at once, check out my Craftsy class, Piped Flowers. They're done in royal icing, but you can do all of them in buttercream too. And for a limited time, it's 50% off. You can click right here to get it. I'll see you next time with another new flower.